So data that we collect is usually divided into two categories, uh, or two big categories. The first one is called quantitative data, and the quant there sort of suggests quantities. These tend to be numerical in nature, uh, and more importantly than just being numerical, uh, is the idea that arithmetic, arithmetic makes sense. Uh, in other words, it makes sense to add or subtract these values. Uh, some numbers, like we'll see in a minute, uh, really doesn't make sense to do this with. Categorical or qualitative de uh, data is instead, uh, tends to be, like the name suggests, categories. Uh, this is groupings of, of, of objects into different uh, categories. So let's look at some examples that'll help. So we conduct a survey to determine the name of the favorite movie that each person in the math class saw, last saw in a movie theater. Uh, is this data categorical or qu quantitative? Well, we're talking about names of movies, and that is certainly not numeric in nature. We're certainly not going to be able to do any arithmetic with this, so this is definitely categorical. Now, suppose instead the survey asked the number of movies they had seen in a movie theater in the last 12 months. That now is quantitative, uh, because we, those are numbers for one thing, and we can add them. So like if I saw two movies and you saw three, then together we saw five movies, and addition makes sense here. Uh, suppose we gathered a bunch of zip codes in a survey to track their geographic location. Is that data categorical or quantitative? Even though zip codes are numerical, this data is categorical. Because if your zip code is 98444 and my zip code is 98498, it would make no, no sense at all to, to, to add those, right? It wouldn't mean anything to add those. Uh, and so even though these are numerical, they are just categorical data. So now, what about um, a survey about the movie uh, that includes the question, how would you rate the movie that you just saw, uh, and it uh, gives options 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, associated with these sort of descriptions here. So now, even though these are, again, numerical, and even though we could try adding them, I, I would argue that this data, uh, that this data is in fact categorical. Now, some people might argue with this, uh, and in fact, it's very common, like let's say a ratings on Amazon, it's very common for them to go ahead and treat this as quantitative data and to do things like average these and add them up. But there's a lot of reasons why that doesn't make sense here, because things like, uh, you know, if, if I rate it as a 2 and you rate it as a 4, then together, I mean, I guess you could say on average we rated it a 3, but does this mean that you liked it twice as much as I did? I don't think so. So, this is slightly debatable, but uh, this is probably categorical data.